Uh, okay, hello everyone. Um, Ilan Esbel here. Uh, Ronde, if I can ask you to mute yourself. Ah, there we go. Good, thanks. Uh, hi everyone. Ilan Esbel here. Um, I couldn't do a, um, a webcam last week. Uh, today we do a webcam. You see what I look like. Uh, thank you everyone for attending today's uh, today's webinar. Um, it's uh, quite an interesting one. The next two are pretty pretty darn interesting, if I say so myself. Uh, today's is about um, how to choose the uh, best trading setups using Auto Um uh, But before we get going, I need to read you a short disclaimer so all the legal uh, people are happy. So, the disclaimer is uh, trading financial products such as CFDs on margin carries a high degree of risk and is not suitable for all investors. Losses can exceed the initial investment. Please ensure you fully understand the risks and take the appropriate care to manage your risk. <clears throat> um, and from me, never trade with money you can't uh, afford to lose, right? So, uh, so it's interesting to talk about risk. Next week's webinar is all about risk, right? Uh, uh, and so uh, <laughs> uh, uh, forget about what the legal people say. Let's actually look at that um, in, in uh, reality. <clears throat> Okay, so with that being said, um, uh, today's presentation is all about how to choose the best trading setups using Autochartist. Um, uh, just a quick word about it, where to get Autochartist. So if you are in, um, in the Tickmore website, you go to Tools, the Tools section, and in the Tools section, you will find a block that says Autochartist. You click on that. Uh, once you click on the order charts, then you will get a description of what the product is and you can scroll down through all of that <clears throat> and then you will have uh, two red buttons, one that says go to order chartist and another one that says install the MT4 plugin. <clears throat> and um, uh, today I'm going to uh, work through the uh, MT4 plugin, so I'm just going to assume that you already have that installed from last week's webinar. You just click on the install button and kind of download something and walks you through a wizard. Should be pretty easy to to get that all going. Um, if not, email us to uh, email us at uh, support at autochartist.com. <clears throat> Should be up and running pretty quick. Okay, and then once you're up and running, then you should end up with a MetaTrader <clears throat> that looks something like this. Um, and the important bit is what I highlighted now, which is the Order Chartist Expert Advisor. Right now, the I know it's called an expert advisor. Don't get nervous; it's not doesn't trade on your behalf, right? Okay, like most expert advisors do. Uh, we call it an expert advisor because we had to use some technology within MetaTrader, which is only available to expert advisors and not to indicators. Um, but when you drag and drop uh, the expert advisor um, on um, on your onto your chart, uh, what you're going to get is the order chartist uh, market scanner. <clears throat> uh -huh. And in this situation, we in fact also got uh, a, a, a trade setup, um, and I'll talk about that uh, now. So obviously, this is your order chart scanner. As I mentioned in the previous webinar, it only looks for opportunities that are uh, in your for the instruments in your market watch list. Okay, this is very important, right? So if you remove uh, instruments in your market watch, you won't get opportunities for those instruments in your uh, order charters plugin. This is important because that should be your first step in filtering for uh, for uh, trade setups that you don't want to see, okay? Uh, I know you all want to make money everywhere, but the traders that I've seen have been successful in the market are guys that really focus their attention. Sometimes even as, as, as narrow as one instrument, I don't recommend that personally, but you should at least be looking at the seven major uh, uh, the seven major uh, currency pairs, which are highlighted in green uh, in your um, in your MetaTrader uh, platform. Um, uh, and so <clears throat> and so you should um, uh, filter it down. You'll also get better response, and that will um, I think create a better uh, trading experience for you too. Um, and the next thing that I did in the previous webinar, again, if you want to talk about reasoning around it, um, I uh, uncheck, this is again personal preference, I uncheck the technical, the emerging chart patterns and the Fibonacci patterns, as well as the M15 and the M30 patterns. Okay, I do that because I want to eliminate a lot of market noise um, and reduce the amount of, of uh, potential trading opportunities that I have available to me uh, within uh, order charts itself. Right? So I'm down to about two pages of trading opportunities. Uh, normally it's at about eight or nine pages 
uh, by by default. Okay, uh, so now we have a kind of workable set of trading opportunities that we can see on order charters. <coughs> So now really the topic of this conversation today, which is how do you choose the best ones? Okay, and I'm gonna give you some, some, some guidelines. <clears throat> um, first things first, uh, as you can see, when you click these view buttons, the chart changes, right? So if I click on this Euro NZD H4, um, I click it, I expect my chart to change. Uh, I think on your side, it'll just take a little bit more time. Uh, for my screen to come through and there it changes to Euro NZD H4 and you can see the trade setup and uh, you can see the uh, target region for that trade setup um, over here. Um, so so pretty pretty easy to, to, to understand in terms of what order charts thinks. It thinks obviously there's been a breakout through a resistance level and uh, it thinks it's going to go up to uh, that gray box over here. Okay, and these blue lines is something we're going to talk about next week. Right, uh, and I'm not going to go into them uh, today, uh, but but uh, but next week we're going to we're going to go into those quite quite in depth. That's about market volatility and, and risk. Okay, so we have all these trading opportunities, and which ones are the best ones? Okay, so um, so first thing I want to do is I want to show you is I want you to click on this little world icon, and um, and what you can do is you can actually click on this uh, copy this. Um, uh, this link at the top, which is the order charts web application. If you copy and paste that into your browser, then you should come up with something that looks like this. Okay, and first thing you'll notice is when you choose your different um, selection criteria, whether it's CFDs or, or FX, um, you will notice that uh, you get a lot more results than you do in your meta. Trader. The reason for that is because this is unfiltered, right? Have a look at some of these instruments I'm getting. I'm getting um, Singapore dollar, uh, Hong Kong dollar, all kinds of uh, uh, instruments that I don't have in my watch list on Meta, so um, I don't have them filtered. <clears throat> and what you can do is uh, you can, in fact, create a new search uh, to uh, create a new uh, set of instruments that, that you think uh, are relevant to you. So I'm not gonna go into that right now, but if you want, you can create your own, your own group. And I'll come back to the search window in just a moment because there's some very, very um, advanced filters here which you can use, which I use, to uh, filter for the best available opportunities, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, um, so the thing I wanted to show you here is a section called performance statistics okay and in performance statistics uh, it's very important for you to to uh, um, uh, to read this disclaimer at the top as well because it'll tell you that these performance statistics don't tell you how much money you're going to make using the order charter system okay um, what these performance stats tell you is how often certain um, uh, patterns and setups hit their forecast region, right? So, so let's look, go back into our MetaTrader for just a moment and see what that actually tells us, okay? So if we look at this, uh, this Meta, there's been a, a breakout on Euro uh, New Zealand dollar, four hourly chart, uh, there's been a breakout. And as you can see, we think that the price is going up to this box over here, right? So the statistics, the performance stats tell us how often would the price move and reach that that level, right? And what we do is we give it one pattern length. We call that a pattern length, L. We map that onto the end of the, the chart, and that's how much time we give this opportunity to hit this target level over here. Right? So if the target level moves sideways and then up, we still call it a, you know, a, a hit, all right? If it moves down and away, then obviously that's a bad mark against us, against our name, and that's obviously um, regarded as not hitting the target, the target region. Um, I can tell you that about 70% of patterns that hit their target region hit it within the first 30% 30, 30% uh, 30 of the pattern length. So if I'm looking at at uh, at this pattern length over here, I'll redraw that, and then I'll take 30% of that, maybe something like this size. If the price is going to hit um, uh, this level, there's a high likelihood it's going to hit it very, very short, shortly after the breakout. 
Okay, so that's just a hint uh, that that I'm giving you. Um, so what we what we see normally is that if it goes there, it goes there relatively quickly, but if it drags its feet, then you should strongly consider managing your risk and closing out the position wherever the price happens to be, even if it's a loss making trade. And remember, don't don't be scared of making loss making trades. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, um, uh, I um, I was a, a, a trader on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange for many years, and, and the professional traders there aim to make 51 or 52 percent uh, profitable trades, right? Um, even the professionals know you can't get 70, 80, 90 percent profitable trades. It's simply impossible. You need to remember it's all a numbers game. The whole idea around trading is not to be perfect on every trade, but to skew the odds in your favor, right? So when you're doing it over a longer period of time, the odds are skewed in your favor, right? And you can try and beat the market. So don't be scared of closing out positions in loss making and loss making trades. You should just move on. There are plenty of opportunities just right now in this situation. Even just using the order chart uh, application, you've got um, a dozen uh, trading opportunities you can potentially trade, right? Don't think you can only trade one at a time. When I trade, I trade four, five, sometimes up to seven positions at a time. Right, uh, to manage my risk because I'll make money on some and lose money uh, on others. Okay, so again, these stats getting back to the stats, it's how often uh, the price hits its target region. Okay, so um, let's look what that looks like on technical chart patterns. Um, these are completed or breakout chart patterns over the last six months. This is a rolling window. We've identified around 47,500. Uh, technical setups or chart pattern setups of which about 31,000 were uh, correct. Okay, that means correct meaning hit their target uh, level. Um, and what we can do here is a breakdown of which patterns have been doing really well over the uh, last six months. So we can see ascending triangle, channel downs, channel ups, descending triangles, a few have done really well, double tops, double bottoms, a few have done badly, falling wedges, flags, uh, pennant, always a, a really terrible performer or pennant. Uh, rising wages, triangles have done poorly. Um, the outstanding ones obviously have been head and shoulders. and uh, Normally head and shoulders and inverse head and shoulders are really, really outstanding performers. And we also have breakdowns by, uh, by symbol, uh, direction, interval, um, et cetera, et cetera. A very, very important one is obviously hour of day. Okay, so this is very interesting because this, um, these performance stats over here are uh, based on uh, GMT plus three, okay, which is the, the, the same time zone as your, as your data feed uh, in Meta. And you can see quite clearly that between 6 a.m. Uh, GMT plus three and uh, 3 p.m. GMT plus three, uh, technical chart patterns um, do really well. Now, it's very important to remember why that is. Um, everything around uh, the theory of support and resistance has to do with market psychology, right? And what do we need, um, uh, um, what do we need to, to have in order to have market psychology? We need market participants, right? We need liquidity, we need volatility, right? We need a lot of people to be acting in unison in the market to actually have this, this play out of, of market psychology. And so you find in general that um, uh, um, uh, Forex, uh, uh, well, anything to do with support and resistance in Forex does uh, much better, performs much better, or is, let's say we say is more significant during the European session than during the uh, US and, uh, and Asian sessions. That because there's a lot more market participants um, in the foreign currency markets uh, during those times of day, because obviously, as you all know, the uh, center of uh, financial trade um, is not New York, like everyone thinks, but it is in fact London, right? That's where all the um, uh, settlement happens. Um, that is in fact the center of the uh, financial world, certainly uh, from a uh, foreign currency perspective. Okay, so if you're trading uh, the European session, you're already giving yourself uh, an edge on the market uh, by using uh, uh, you know support and resistance levels, psychological levels um, uh, um, to to trade, right? So these are for chart patterns. If we look at um, key levels, which are the horizontal levels uh, within order chartist, um, and we discussed these before uh, as well, um, you can see that 
Uh, we identified much fewer of them uh, over the last six months, only 2,200, uh, but the percentage that of them that hit their target region is much higher, right, around the 1,600 level. So over 75% on average. Um, and again, you can see that uh, although it does pretty well across the board, you can see that during the uh, European session, um, we do uh, really exceptionally, exceptionally well. But again, notice something that the key levels, uh, both the uh, breakout key levels as well as the approaching key levels, um, are really, really star performers. And that gives us a hint as to uh, which, uh, uh, um, which types of trading setups in fact do do better than than others right and and what i'm going to show you something here is um from my experience um the the ones that do uh, really really uh, well and not only from a statistical perspective and and i think you can if you want you can go into those performance stats and actually make a printout and put them next to your desk right so you can evaluate these but but um, there is another hint that I can that I can show you within uh, MetaTrader itself, right? Okay. So let's just look at all forex uh, for now. We're not going to um, uh, uh, filter the instruments. But what I want to show you in the advanced section of the filtering is um, uh, as the ability to select different patterns. Okay. Now, although we don't have this feature in uh, meta uh, uh, in the MetaTrader plugin, it is something which we're going to put in uh, uh, soon. But right now, there's a button on here that allows you obviously to select all or deselect all, uh, or trending patterns or non-trending patterns, or click horizontal patterns. So now, so so I uh, actually this horizontal patterns thing was a, a filter criteria that I asked uh, my staff to put in uh, for me because. Um, this, from my experience, is the is the thing that that really makes you shine with auto chartist. I have found that trading patterns that have at least one horizontal level um, seems to work much better for me. Okay, so um, it seems as though market psychology or the markets work uh, uh, a lot more with. Uh, these horizontal significant levels than they do with these trending support and resistance lines. Okay, so so in a way you kind of understand that because intuitively speaking, uh, you have these very important levels that could be psychological levels, they could be um, uh, that are touched again and again and again. They could be very kind of round numbers, right? Um, in the forex market, where a, lo a lot of your decimal places are zero, um, so there's quite a quite a bit of theory around why these. Uh, significant horizontal levels occur again and again uh, in uh, in price graphs, and I'm sure when you look at a price graph too, uh, unless you do this for a living every day like I do, uh, it's much clearer to see these horizontal bands of movement than it is to see these trending uh, trending bands of movement. The other big deal is obviously that trading against the trend is a is a massive risk. Um, so in fact, if we go uh, back to this example uh, we had before, was it a USD CAD example we had before? If we look at a MetaTrader and uh, we look at this USD CAD example over here, so we had a, a, a very strong uh, trend upwards, let me draw that in, a really, really strong uh, trend upwards, and now a movement against the trend, right? So, so now, um, uh, you know, some people are contrarians, um, I'll tell you that there is no, um, uh, some people contrary and some people believe in the trend is your friend, right? So the, the, the truth is that there's no right or wrong answer. Um, personally, I don't like trading against the trend. Um, I find it quite, uh, quite a risky move. So from my perspective, uh, this kind of opportunity, I would probably um, uh, not uh, follow this kind of opportunity unless there was a, a continuation in the breakout. So for example, let me zoom in for just a moment. You'll see there was quite a strong breakout uh, through the support level, okay, at this candle. But then uh, the price turned around. And so normally, um, this is one of the reasons I, I prefer to look at the kind of longer term uh, uh, time interval. So not 
and not H not M15 or M30, but more the hourly, four hourly, because I want to give myself enough room to have an, a, a confirmation of the breakout. So for example, if this next candle was a downward candle, right? I'll just kind of color that in, <laughs> do my best uh, to draw with my mouse. If there was a downward candle, then I would think, aha, okay, there's a possibility that the trend is now reversing uh, from an upward trend uh, down, uh, you know, there's a, some kind of trend reversal to a, a downward trend I would potentially trade that. But but seeing as it, there was a strong breakout, but then a reversal, you know, um, I am not entirely sure whether I would trust myself to continue uh, uh, to or to trade this position uh, short over over here, right? So I'm um, um, in this situation. I'm not really a, a con contrarian. The second thing, though, that I want to point out is that this is a rising wedge. And remember what I showed you about the um, the, the 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 patterns that do really really well. They're made up of these um, horizontal patterns, right? So triangle is not rising wedge is not a channel is not triangle is not, pennant isn't, rising wedge isn't, falling wedge isn't, channel up isn't. Ah, we have a resistance level. Let's have a look at this Euro JPY example over here. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Or maybe, maybe we don't need to. Okay, interesting. Okay, here we go. So order chart has identified an interesting level over here. Uh, and uh, let's actually analyze that. So um, we, we have an opportunity over here, right? So it's so touch that point over here. Definitely some interesting consolidation and breakout through that level over here. A bit of consolidation at this level, and again a touching point at that level over there. So, so I think Autojotis did a pretty good job of identifying this um, uh, this level as um, a significant level in this situation resistance. Okay, and it also noticed the fact that you can see that the price here it's grey. The price has not yet broken through this level, but is has turned around and is moving towards uh, that level over there okay right so so this is quite an interesting opportunity that certainly I would I would consider uh, consider a, a, a taking so for the purposes of this presentation let's actually go ahead and and um, and place a trade right on something like this so I would go a new order and I would uh, let's actually set a very uh, small uh, uh, position um, I have $150 in my in my account, um, and so now um, uh, I'm trading long. So uh, sorry, um, uh, Cynthia, uh, you mentioned that you can't see the chart. Is that still a problem you're having? I missed that comment. Um, oh, can everyone uh, see my my screen? I hope everyone can see my screen. Um, Potentially, it's a problem just on Cynthia's side. Uh, uh, Rhonda, you're on my side. Can you see my screen okay? Yes, I've got your screen finally, Lynn. You do? Okay, great. Okay, so maybe it's just Cynthia that's having a problem. Okay. Um, all right, if there's anyone else that's having a problem, let us know on the questions panel uh, so that we can try and get that result. Um, okay. Uh, so, so what I've done is I've actually taken, uh, obviously, a long position uh, on um, NeuroJPY. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm up a few cents, I guess, or e even in the market at the moment. Uh, but that's not the important part. The important part is I need to set a stop loss and take profit. And this is something I'm going to be talking about extensively in uh, in the next uh, presentation about how to set uh, stop losses and take profits uh, uh, using auto charts using these uh, blue uh, using these blue lines. Uh, but for now, I wanted to show you uh, you know the, this this kind of opportunity uh, um, uh, you know of me trading that this kind of opportunity. And again, why did I trade it? I traded it because uh, Auto Charles found this uh, resistance uh, level over here. It seems to have disappeared. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, here it is. It's just showing me the latest pattern. So, um, oh, it's okay. So what it did, it, I don't know if everyone can see this, but um, there's actually two patterns on Euro uh, JPY. There's the triangle and uh, there is the resistance level. So in fact, this is in fact really, really interesting. Uh, uh, so there's in fact two patterns that are telling us to go long uh, um, on, this, uh, on, this, um, on this instrument. So what I can do to actually show both of them, um, oops, that's the wrong, uh, the wrong place. I can actually go into the filter window and I can say, uh, show me up to 
two historical patterns uh, on my chart, and then what will happen is that all the charts will actually show me uh, should show me both of those. So there you can see the, uh, the 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 older one which was identified, the horizontal level, as well as the new triangle that was identified, and this is really really strong. This is what we call at all the charts a correlating signal, right? Correlating signal meaning that there is both a horizontal level as well as a chart pattern saying the same thing in the in the same direction, right? A very very powerful signal, and you can see that automatically already I'm already making money on this on this position but that's not the important bit right so I can actually close my position here uh, I don't want to the objective here is not to make money or lose money but just to show you what can be done okay now there is another way up oh, let me just uh, close that position um, there is another way of, of trading um, a, a, an opportunity such as this right because so this price has not yet reached its target uh, level right over here so I might not be a swing trader, right? So swing traders are guys that are trading between the lines, these up and down movements. I might be a trend trader, okay? So a trend trader meaning that I'm looking for confirmation of a breakout. So what I could do to trade this, if I really wanted, if I was an advanced trader, I could actually uh, choose this level over here. What is that level? 133.12. Okay, and set a buy stop, right? So I could in fact set a an order but a pending order, let me just choose that, a buy stop at uh, 133.12, uh, okay? So there's my pending order, and now what have I done here? What I've done is I have actually said to my MetaTrader, I've said, hey, if the price reaches this level, then open a position um, uh, for uh, long. Okay, so so that is another way of trading. So if you want confirmation, we might even uh, uh, um, uh, change that, right? Modify or delete order. We might actually change that to uh, to get not only just a touch of that level, but a confirmation. So we could set it at 133.20, at 133.20, uh, which will give us a breakout and a confirmation of the breakout, and then our position would be long in the market, right? So it helps us to be preemptive in the market instead of waiting for these signals to come and then be reactive. We might be on a subway somewhere or, or the tubes, or we might be uh, you know, picking up the kids from school. Who knows where we're gonna be in life when these opportunities come along. So these trading these um, types of emerging opportunities with, with pending orders is sometimes a very uh, interesting strategy to take. But again, if you're a new trader, uh, you need to watch uh, watch out and make sure there's a lot of different combinations, right? There's buy stops, sell stops, buy limits, sell limits. There's all different types of pending orders. Uh, make sure you choose the right one, right? Because you don't want to make a, like just a you know a paperwork error uh, and then and then um, end up losing money because of that, right? So 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 make sure you you're aware of what kind of order you're trading. Okay, but for the situation, so I I I I, I want to delete that order. I, I, I this was just a demonstration, obviously for um, for this presentation. Let's see if there's any other in interesting uh, uh, trades that we could potentially take. Um, uh, so right now, I'm actually not seeing uh, much more, but um, uh, 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 but but um, but we already uh, made some some good money right now. So notice how I'm not uh, forcing myself to take positions. Right, I am simply. Uh, allowing the positions to come to me. I don't come to my MetaTrader terminal and say, "Hey, now I'm going to set a position." open a position. No, that's not what you should be doing. Uh, um, uh, you should be waiting for the opportunities to come to you. Let's look at our uh, order chartist uh, web application and see what opportunities ha exist on, on all the other instruments. Okay, so not only on the, on the majors. Okay, so there's some uh, more uh, kind of uh, uh, should we say uh, obscure opportunities once we filter for just the horizontal levels you can see that there's a number of opportunities on the market at the moment right so there's an opportunity on a uh, pound Hong Kong dollar on 15 minutes um, here's another one on pound uh, pound dollar 15 minutes right so very very short-term opportunities um, uh, 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 going downward. So in fact, if we added um, uh, this 15 minute chart patterns to uh, to our filter on Meta, we would in fact get this, we expect to get this GBP USD uh, opportunity. So let's, let's have a look at that. Now let's go ahead and filter. Uh, we'll add in our uh, M15 and M30s. Uh, well, I think M15s should just do it, but we'll add them in. 
Uh, let's see what uh, what we get here because GBP USD is part of our market watch list, right? And there it is, GBP USD 15 minute uh, descending triangle. Um, so let's click on that. <clears throat> okay, here it is, GBP USD 15 minute triangle, uh, and here it is. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, and you can see that uh, because I've set my chart to show historical patterns too, I'm also getting this this um, this older um, uh, falling uh, wedge that was identified um, a few hours ago as well. Okay, but now we can see. Well, let me zoom in even more. <laughs> we can see that there's a uh, uh, interesting uh, chart pattern that exists over here. Here it is. I zoomed in all the way. And, um, and we've got a target level down here, and there's a breakout, a, a confirmation of the breakout. This is a very, very short position, but certainly if we had something like this on an hourly uh, a candle or a four hourly candle, I would definitely trade something like this short. We have a very strong breakout, plus a confirmation on a pattern that's made of a horizontal level. This is a short, a potential short position. Let me show you how I would trade this. I would go new order. I would sell um, uh, right now uh, and and wait for the market to play it out. Um, and again, next week's uh, conversation is going to be around uh, how to set uh, market appropriate uh, stop losses to manage uh, these types of um, these types of positions. Okay, and so uh, the market is moving in our direction, and we could potentially, uh, uh, you know, kind of take a take a, um, a, 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 a take profit uh, around here, uh, a stop loss uh, around the uh, previous turning points, or maybe even at this level over here. Um, but anyway, that's a discussion uh, for next week. Uh, I'm not going to go uh, not going to go into that uh, right now. Uh, for now, uh, looks like we're making good money on this position. Uh, we've made another uh, 40 cents, uh, so good. Today we made a dollar. Uh, uh, how much did we make? Uh, we made yeah about a about a dollar on our on our position. So um, uh, we did we did quite well. We made almost one percent on our money today, <laughs> which was which was pretty good. Okay, so I'm happy about that. But the point of today's presentation is obviously not to make money. It's simply to show you the kind of rationale that I go through in terms of uh, which opportunities. Uh, to take right, so so let's look at that again. Um, I take longer term opportunities, uh, uh, H1 uh, or, or opportunities identified on on H1, H4 uh, daily. Um, I only took this M15 opportunity because you know it's a presentation and I want to show you my thought process. I look for opportunities based on horizontal levels. Again, what did that look like? Horizontal levels. While you're still learning, you can go into the web app and and uh, click on the uh, uh, horizontal patterns. Uh, those will select the ones which are horizontal um, horizontal uh, levels, right? And you can see quite clearly which ones they are. And we don't have that in Meta at the moment, that filter, uh, but but um, uh, uh, it'll, it'll come in the future, but you will, you will get to know these patterns uh, pretty quickly. And you will notice how within Meta itself, I scan through my instrument list and I very quickly uh, know the ones that I want to trade and don't want to trade, right? I kind of just go, go through them. And don't be scared about not trading things. And sometimes you're going to open up your meta, you're going to open up your order charters, and there's simply not going to be any trade setups, which is okay as well, right? <laughs> because there's thousands every week. So you don't have to worry if you if you happen to to turn on your meta and there isn't a trading opportunity you would trade, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, uh, right? There's always going to be new opportunities coming up. Let the trade come to you. Don't uh, don't uh, force uh, the trade. Right? The last thing, uh, again, just as a reminder, is uh, that you might want to look at these uh, performance stats in terms of which ones, uh, which types of patterns um, perform the best. And again, the hint there is most patterns that are based on horizontal levels, which I discussed before, as well as if you're trading during the European session, that gives you an absolutely massive advantage uh, over the market if you're using a support and resistance. Right? So I'm not talking about moving average strategies or RSIs or stochastics or anything like that, but if you're talking purely about uh, 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 strategies around um, around levels of uh, support resistance levels then trading European hours is is obviously a very good a very good idea and you'll notice how the stats become really really good on these key levels key levels being these 
um, are these uh, uh, horizontal uh, support and resistance uh, levels that uh, that were um, that I was uh, showing you uh, before. Um, okay, um, so here's an opportunity on Australia. Uh, uh, 200, a resistance level, that's something that you could trade. Uh, um, India, uh, the Nifty 50, um, I, love, I love saying that, <laughs> um, uh, and, uh, and more um, on, the, on the Nifty. Um, uh, and so, and so there's, there's quite a few, uh, oh, here's another one on um, a an interesting resistance level on uh, Hong Kong uh, 50 as well. Uh, so this is the kind of thinking that you need to to go through when you're trading, right? Um, uh, so I hope I've, I've given you uh, a lot uh, to think about in this presentation. Um, uh, that's been about 30 minutes. I know that everyone's going to start falling asleep now, so I normally try to speak a little faster and get through my presentation in 30 minutes. Um, I, there haven't been many questions coming through, so maybe I should take a, a pause uh, and um, and, a, and a sip of water, and allow you all to think of um, questions that you that you might wanna might wanna ask me um, at this at this point in time. Okay, no questions. That means that this was the most amazing presentation ever given. Uh, okay, here we go. No, are there more questions coming through? <laughs> um, um, so Jeffrey asked. Uh, does it have an EA or indicator for you to connect to MT4? So yes, Jeffrey, I'm busy showing you the, the EA right now. If you go to the um, the, um, the Tickmill website uh, and you click on Tools and then Auto Chartist, um, then you will um, get this web page uh, like this. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll get a, a link to install the MT4 plugin. So you can go ahead and install that MT4 plugin uh, and um, and what you'll get is uh, the auto chartist EA uh, installed on your Meta, which you can drag and, and drop onto your onto your screen. Okay, so no questions coming through. I guess I'll leave you with those last few points again, just to remind you. Um, uh, what I do is filter for higher term, a uh, higher uh, higher um, uh, data intervals, uh, H1, H4, D1, so I can have time to wait for confirmation signals. Um, I don't trade emerging chart patterns for, or for Bernacci patterns. Um, look for horizontal levels, right? So, so uh, patterns made up of horizontal uh, 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 levels. Um, don't force the trade. Trade uh, support resistance strategies during the European hours will give you uh, uh, the, 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 a better chance of being successful because that's when psychology of the market plays plays out more, there's more market participants. Um, and then to get a more overall view of what's happening in the market, not only on your watch list, um, open up the uh, Autotars web app uh, by clicking on this, um, uh, 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 by launching this, um, this URL. Um, uh, from from the MT4 uh, EA, copying and pasting it into your um, internet browser, um, and looking at a broader perspective on the market, not only on what you have on your uh, market uh, watch list, and then look for those horizontal the patterns made up of horizontal uh, horizontal levels. So Jeffrey, you asked a question, which is. Um, how much percentage will it be profitable? Uh, so I'm not quite sure if you're asking me how much, what percentage it will move, uh, or how often it will be profitable. You'll find in general um, that order charters hits its target region around 70% of the time as, as a kind of overall statistic. But obviously I showed you that varies on the time of day, the instrument, the, 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 the type of setup, uh, the type of pattern. So there's a whole bunch of variables in there. Uh, so I can't tell you exactly you know, how, how, how often you'll be correct, but certainly if you trade, if you pick the right uh, setups, uh, you're certainly skewing the uh, results in your favor. Also, I can't tell you how much money you're going to make, firstly because it will be illegal, and secondly, it would, I would be lying to you. Uh, and anyone in the market, by the way, who tells you he's going to make you 100% uh, every month or every year is lying to you, uh, all right? Um, so so uh, remember, there's a lot of scam artists uh, out there. 
I can't tell you how much money you're going to make because I don't know what stock strategy you're going to be using, right? So, um, for example, some people use uh, stop loss um, a fixed stop loss strategies. Some people use trailing stop loss strategies. Some people use parabolic SARs for stop losses. There's different types of exit strategies, right? Um, so, uh, you know, that also depends on on that also influences how much money you could potentially make or lose, uh, right? Um, in in uh, trading uh, FX or any financial instrument, actually. Um, so it's a bit of an open-ended uh, question. Um, okay, so um, uh, so uh, uh, Sibonello, um, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, how do you set up auto charts in MT4? Again, you uh, download, you click on this install MT4 uh, button uh, from the website. It'll download a little installation program for you. You just run that installation program and kind of click next, 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 and then you will have this auto chartist EA. Uh, on your um, on your meta, and what you do is you uh, you drag and drop it onto your meta, and it takes a few moments to kind of talk to our servers, and then it um, it pops up uh, with the uh, with the results. Um, okay, um, so Jeffrey again asked, which is your favorite setup? The highest probability. Okay, so my favorite setups again, Jeffrey, uh, I did uh, say this already. Um, uh, uh, my favorite setups are the ones on H1 and higher, based on horizontal levels. Okay, those are my favorite uh, setups. Uh, so uh, the ones that I look for. All right, and then I evaluate them obviously for for other things as well. But but um, uh, my favorite setups, and you have to find your your method, right? Some people add a moving average. I want to see if there's a if there are a breakout trader that add a moving average, and you know uh, to see if they're pointing in the same direction. Some people trade. Uh, swing traders and they would add an RSI or a stochastic to see if the market's overbought and oversold. So there is your strategy. I can't tell you what your strategy is going to be, right? Um, uh, you know, if, if you want someone to just give you a strategy, then you should be going and putting your money with a fund manager. Uh, the reason you're listening to this presentation is that you can actually learn and build your own tr trading strategy uh, around some of the tools that uh, your broker is, is giving you. Uh, um, uh, certainly, I can tell you that I've been trading for over 15 years um, and I have uh, uh, done pretty well uh, using theory of support resistance. You don't even have to use the order chartist um, a a application if you don't want to, right? Um, some people uh, draw lines manually, right? They would actually draw lines themselves, uh, like I'm doing uh, right now, uh, and, and trade the markets themselves, right? They don't have to use order chartist. Um, order chartist is just a tool to simplify the process of identifying these trade setups. If you don't want to use it, you don't, you know, you obviously don't, don't have to use it. In general, uh, what we're talking about here is the theory of support and resistance rather than order charts itself. Uh, order charts is just a brand, but really it's just an automation of existing support and resistance uh, theory, right? Um, so, um, so uh, Mukitsi, I think I pronounced that correctly, and Rudolf, yes, these webinars are available for, for, for uh, download. Um, you should contact your broker and just ask them where to get the, um, the, the recordings. Uh, but I, I'm going to finish off now. My time is coming to an end. You must all attend next week's um, uh, you must all attend next week's webinar because it is about market volatility and setting stop loss and take profit levels. It is it's something that everyone ignores, and it's probably the most important part of um, of a trading strategy. Um, uh, and uh, so, Cynthia, that's a great question, Cynthia. You just asked, does it give a take profit, or do you have to place it on the next support or resistance level? So, Cynthia, we are going to talk about that next week. Uh, I need you to come to next week's webinar where we're going to talk about exit strategies, both take profits and stop losses. Uh, please come to next week's webinar. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, um, uh, that's why we leave it till the end. <laughs> uh, uh, um, so, please come to next week's webinar uh, to join us about how to set um, exit levels um, using uh, Order Chartist. And with that, I love you and leave you. I hope you enjoy, you enjoy the rest of your day or evening, wherever you are in the world, uh, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.